uh, he joins the Nats rotation. Of course, Scott Max Scherzer and Strasburg. This is now the second team, or only the second team in the bigs, that has three starting pitchers with at least $100 million contracts. The Cubs are the other one. Of course, um, Scherzer's making $210 million. Strasburg is making a buck seven five, and this is a buck forty for Corbin. So Corbin's the pauper of that group. He's only it's making one forty. Bargain cakes, yeah. <laughs> so unbelievable. If you don't know anything about Corbin, he's a heavy breaking ball guy. He uses a slider. He's probably got the best slider and uh, certainly left-handed slider in baseball. He had the highest percentage of strikeouts on a slider last year. Um, he had two hundred, and I've got the numbers in front of me here. He had 200, excuse me, 195 strikeouts on his slider in 2018. The next closest was 124. Uh, he had the most swings and misses on sliders in 2018 for, with 387. The next closest was Chris Archer with 211. How many innings so, did he throw last year? Well, at least 200. I don't know. You have to bring up his stats for me. Uh, I don't have his... his so healthy last year. Um, he had 200 flat. He had 200 innings, 33 starts. Um, 3.15 ERA was 11 and seven. Made 7.5 million last year. Uh, I think they needed to do it. He's an upgrade on Geo. <clears throat> People are still going to wonder about the bullpen, and then obviously what happens with Bryce Harper. Yeah. Now Patrick Corbin, he's been in the league about six years. He did have Tommy John surgery back in I think 13, and he was using a lot of he threw a lot of fastballs pre Tommy John, and then after the Tommy John surgery, he really started to perfect the slider. And that's why he's uh, he, he uses it so much. So Patrick mm. Corbin was probably the best left-handed starter on the market. Uh, you could argue either Corbin or Keuchel from Houston, but uh, the Nats obviously felt like it was Corbin. And so he's he's in the rotation six years, buck 40. I like it. Seems like a good signing. I don't care about uh, the learner's money. They, of course they have, they have a bottomless pit of it. Uh, their budget means nothing to me. So I think it's great. I'm glad they did that. Now, who knows about Bryce? Because Bryce Harper, of course, got a deal or an offer from the Nats during the regular season, and he turned it down. He wanted to go to free agency. Magic Johnson and the Dodgers met with Bryce Harper in Las Vegas on Monday night, a couple nights ago, and um, there's still, a, you know, if you believe any of these reports, there's still about ten other teams that are interested, including teams like the Cardinals. Um, I saw the White Sox, the Cubs. I wonder, are they genuinely interested after? Nats, obviously still interested. They didn't even discuss the $300 million offer. So that knowing that that's sort of the floor, it's amazing that there's still 10 other teams that would still like to talk, if that's true. Not sure I believe it. Who knows what to believe? There are Maybe 10 teams the out structured. there willing to start at $300 million. Maybe Cur- not. Maybe it's just the way, again, like I said, the way they're structured. Mm-hmm. 